I'm here with Louise Staley, our Shadow Treasurer. Great to be with you, Louise. And you, Brad. Uh, and we're here to discuss uh, some of the issues within Louise's portfolio as Shadow Treasurer. Uh, as you may know, the uh, Victorian Andrews uh, Labor government recently delivered its first state budget of this parliament. Uh, and Louise has been prosecuting mm. that case uh, quite successfully, uh, in my view, uh, on behalf Thank of the you. Liberal National Coalition, uh, pointing out all the uh, the holes in it and uh, the uh, uh, the inadequacies uh, with it. Uh, Louise, tell us about some of the things happening in your portfolio at the moment. So the budget is the big one. It remains the big one. Uh, this is a budget built on a fake surplus, uh, raiding the TAC uh, in time of the highest uh, road tolls we've had in, in 14 years, and yet they're, they're not uh, putting money into road safety. They're using it to prop up their, their fake surplus. Uh, their debt is really now starting to ramp up. We're seeing that uh, Victoria will have the highest debt levels of any state by, through, oh, through this budget period. Uh, of course, we're not the biggest state. You would not expect us to have the largest debt. Uh, they are getting to their debt target in f almost in four years, what they're saying they were going to do in 10 years. So we're really seeing uh, that acceleration of their inability to manage projects. Uh, the cost blowouts in those projects are now really eating into their debt forecast. So a poor budget. And, and Louise, we are the highest taxed state in Australia. We are. We are. So uh, we were before uh, the budget and then uh, the government cemented that position, uh, not least by introducing a series of new taxes, which uh, they promised both before 2014 and before 2018 they would not do that. Uh, they've now introduced over 20 new taxes. This budget, and one of the things we talked about in Parliament uh, this week, is the gold tax. Uh, that is a totally unexpected new tax on this industry and one in which uh, parts of uh, the industry are centred in my electorate in, in Ripon and they just cannot afford this tax. Uh, what, what is the actual effect of this sort of tax uh, on the lives of people within your electorate? So the gold miners are telling me that uh, this puts regional jobs at risk and these are high paid jobs. These are people earning well over $100,000 as, as miners and when mines close they either have to go to WA or Queensland uh, or they take a much, much lower remunerated job. Uh, these kind of jobs are really special and rare in country Victoria and to put them at risk uh, this is as uh, one CEO of a, a mining uh, supply company told me, uh, this is a tax from the city on the regions. So Louise, what I'm hearing from you is that we shouldn't be seeking to simply redistribute the wealth from within the state of Victoria, but we should be seeking to grow the pie. Uh, and the Andrews Labor government really don't have a plan for that, which will impact oh, on every Victorian. Absolutely, they don't. That That is a very good way to, to think of it. Uh, they have absolutely got to the edge of the old saying, you know, when la Labor runs out of money, they come after yours. Well, they are, they are right on that now. Uh, Louise Staley, Shadow Treasurer, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.